In this video, we're going to jump into Monday.com's newest features of portfolio management, which means managing a lot of projects and big projects all within one place, as well as capacity management, managing your resources, seeing what people on your team are needed for each project, understanding their time and how they can be available, or maybe they don't have enough time for each project. So let's jump in to understand how these newest features work. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified Monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with Monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. So imagine a website development company that they develop a lot of websites. And because developing websites is really complicated, they want each project to be a different board. Okay, so we want to have a different board per project. And then we want to understand on a high level overview, the capacity of the team. We want to understand where each project is holding, what projects are maybe at risk, what projects are on track, timelines, what tasks people have, and a lot of different things. So that way we can manage a lot of projects. So we start here with our website portfolio. And if you look on this board, this is basically your high level board, okay? So it looks very similar to a regular board. You can see that I have my different projects. In this case, these are the three different websites that I'm building. You still have an owner. Now, something new for this is you have something called the project health, and we'll get into why this is important in the dashboards. But here on a big picture, you can see the project health. These columns over here with a green line under them, are part of the project board. So all of these, see this little icon here? We have three different project boards and you can see here are the three different project boards. Each project board is, is connected to this high level board and all of the data is pulled in. We can customize these columns as much as we want. You can add columns the same way you could do it for a regular board. You can customize and add things here. Okay, but instead of building a regular board, we're building a project board. So I'm actually just going to add a new project because I just want to show you how easy it is. You can have a project template if you want. For this example, I'm not going to have a project template. Um, and I'll just call this um, SD website. And I can decide here's like my template. If I want to choose my different templates, I can. Again, I can choose if it's main or private and I can hit continue. Now, this is going to be like the project plan. And then we have this new thing called resource planner, which I'm going to show you in a few minutes. So I'm creating another project. And this is where some of the magic happens. We have templates from before, which you all know about. But you can see that it's automatically connected to my high level, you know, on my high level portfolio board, which is really nice. But what it does in the back end is it also automatically connects to my low level, to the low level, like the individual project board. So you can see if you scroll down here, here I have a new folder for the SD website and I have two boards in it. I have the SD website, which is the actual project board. I don't know why it's going so slow. Okay. So here you could see uh, this is a basic board. I obviously didn't do anything to it, but you can see here that, that there's this connected board column to the portfolio. So this is automatically set up. And that's like one of the biggest things that we always try and automate and it's very hard to automate. So there's this, like this, I think to me is like such a big deal that as soon as I automatically, let's say, add a new task to this board, it's automatically connected. See it automatically connected to that portfolio board. So no matter what you're adding, you don't need to like make sure that everything was connected. Like this to me is like a big, deal. And it's, I, I think it's a great feature that they're all automatically connected. Now let's look at some other features that this board has that's unique to manage projects. Most of the columns are the same. I'm not going to go through them because they're very similar to the other columns. The first thing that you have is you have this project health. And I do know that Monday's plans are eventually they're going to, I think like use some kind of AI tools uh, within Monday based on the statuses and 
the deadlines to, to decide, like you're going to decide, like, where is the project holding? Let's just say for, for sake for this, I will mark this as on track. Now, if we go back up to our portfolio. So here you could see this is the new website. I marked it as on track. It shows up here. Now, the cool part about this is it's true that you can look at this view and you have a regular view and you'll have it. Now, imagine if you had like 30 projects. So again, you need to scroll, which is not great. But what Monday added is this snapshot view. And this I think is great. This snapshot view is basically like a dashboard, but it shows you the different categories of your project. So here we have one project off track, one at risk and two on track. Now within this, you can also see like this is 33% of the way completed. This is 25%. You can see plan time versus actual, like where you're holding in terms of that. I didn't assign projects editors, but you can, I don't think any of them have, um, but you can also see that information. So there's really a lot of different information that you can see from this view. So just think about like your managers, like who's ever managing all these projects or someone on the executive team, like they could just come in here and be like, oh, great. Two projects are good. One's at risk. Maybe let's try and understand where it's at risk. Why? So we can get it back on track. And one's really, really at risk. You know, it's off track. So let's try and understand where that is. And that is something, this view, I think is something that's really, really a great feature to view all of your projects. Now, the next part that you have is when we built this, remember we built this SD website. So we also built this resource planner. And this is also something that's totally new to Monday. As you can see, I didn't set this up because we built it together, but this is a really, really cool new feature. So it's based on the idea of the workload widget, but you can use this for planning. So you can use this either for actual planning specific people or just for planning your project. So I can add a resource. Now I can also, I can specifically add a person. Let's just say I'm going to add my person, but I can also add a placeholder. So let's say I want to say I need a project manager for this. And I need another placeholder is I need a developer and another placeholder is I need a designer. Okay. Then I can say, let's say I need four hours a day, you know, or I can give a total over my timeline. And here you could see like I have four hours a day. Let's say for the developer, let's say I want them here eight hours a day for these few weeks of my project. You know, let's say for me, I'm going to do it two. you know, I don't know, let's say I'll do it six hours a day over those two weeks. So here you can see per project, I have like either the planned or the actual person. Okay. Which is just really cool. Now, the way that this is built is you have a resource directory and you can go into your resource directory. Like here's everyone on my team and you can assign them to teams, add skills, add location, and you can add job titles for them. So it's just a really, in my mind, like when you want to plan a project, like, you know, you're like, well, we need a designer, but we don't necessarily have a designer. So here you have the ability to figure out what you need per project. Now you have one of these boards. You can see each of the boards has a resource planner. So here, like prong class, CIDA, simple day, everyone has a resource planner. But then like the, the amazing part of this, which I think is really cool, is then there's a capacity manager. Okay. So what the capacity manager does is it actually pulls in the information from all of the different boards that are connected. You could see that it, and again, automatically, as soon as I created the portfolio, which is just really cool. And then I have different views I could view by person. So here you could see like how busy I am over these days. You can view it by project. Again, you can do hours per day, hours per week. There's like a lot of things that you can come in here and you can see what, you know, how everything's going. Now, let's just say I realize I have too much. So like I actually can just move, like I can move something over. Okay, that's also too much. Like, okay, so now let's move me here. And now all of a sudden, wow, Tara has time in her schedule because, okay, maybe not this week, but, um, you know, once we move this, sorry, once we move this project over, we can see, okay, now this is a workload that's manageable. And this is for all of your projects. So if you have more than 20 projects, you can do that. It's going to be actually probably 10, but you'll be able to do this to manage your resources. And this is such an important point. It doesn't matter if you have freelancers or if you have people on your team, you need to understand like what projects they're working on. When are they busy? When are they free? 
Now, the other really nice feature that this has is that there's this automatic dashboard. Again, this was automatically created. Like I didn't really do anything. I like click the button, create the dashboard. This is just the default. So if you want to update it, change it, you can. But again, we have this dashboard that was automatically created, like completed tasks, overdue, incomplete. I'm just looking what they have here, like plans versus effort, project status. Here you have a Gantt chart, project milestones. You can have a Gantt chart. There's so much information that's, this is all like automatically built for you. Like I think setting all this up probably took me like 20 minutes and I know, okay, I know it, I, you know, I, I'm in Monday all day, but the point is that there's so many features that are right here for you that you can access to build out the way to manage these projects. I also saw something that I didn't have time to delve into, but there's also, you can have Gantt charts and when things are delayed, like then. It, it actually like the task turns red, which is kind of cool because then, you know, it's a conflict with something else and then you need to move it. And the other thing, which I, which I didn't pull into today's session is they also have a risk analysis. It's all based on AI and it basically like, will look at your projects and it will create a report for you saying like, these are, and it will read like the conversations and all of the updates on the board and say like, okay, we think that these projects are at risk or these are not. And, and it gives you data so that way you can do something about your project to make sure that all of your projects are moving quickly and how they should. So overall, just to summarize this new enterprise feature for portfolios, portfolios is high level, all of your boards up until now, you can have 200 boards and I know they're looking to get towards a thousand, but you can manage right now, 200 projects and see them from a high level, see the risk, see what projects are on track, what's not, what percentage completed. You could see all that information. And then you have all the low level boards where you have all the tasks, you can get insights about it. And then you have this capacity management. Like that's something that I hear people complain about all the time, that they, they need a way to manage capacity over a large number of projects. And that's something that you really have with this feature. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.